the Soviet couple in second place entering the free dance. She is 19, he is 25. They are the Olympic bronze medalists. They represent the traditional style of free dance, that based on ballroom dancing. They show classic lines and four rhythms of music. Their style of skating differs greatly from that of the other Soviet couple. Natalia Bestemianova and Andre Bukin, they are in first place entering the free dance. And you'll be seeing them skate next. Tomova and Panamarenko beat out Judy Blumberg and Michael Siebert in the Olympic Games for a bronze medal. These two got married after the World Championships in 1984. Klamova and Sergei Panamarenko, second entering the free dance, are close enough to Bestiana and Bukin to upset them for the gold here. These two were world silver medalists last year. In 1985, they beat Bestiana and Bukin in the Soviet Nationals. They have the talent to do it. They certainly do, and they're skating very well. Tomova and Panamarenko. Take a look at some of the footwork that makes this one of the most difficult free dances in the competition. Notice how they're constantly changing directions, trading places, and when you're doing that by yourself, it's hard enough, but when you have a partner next to you, it makes it next to impossible. Very technical, very difficult. And the first set of scores we will get for technical merit, they are five eights across the board. A five eight is a decent mark, but for them being known as technical skaters, it really doesn't reflect the technical quality. 
Right, a 6-0, -oh, a perfect 6.0 for artistic impression. The rest, five nines. There's only one mark that beats a 5-9, and that's a 6.0. So it's going to be difficult for Vesmin Ogunbukin to win this competition. The Soviet ice dancers in...